Okay, welcome back. This is going to be a, another ranting sort of video um, where I just kind of talk unscripted. Um, I am playing M7 right now, so this recording is probably going to be about 30 hours long. And uh, so the reason that I'm making this video today is because the admins just released a forum post this morning. Or I guess JF Armin, which is the uh, the admin I talked about in the last video. This is going to be a lot. I'm going to talk about my, the other video a lot today. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to watch that. But they released a forum post today kind of just detailing 2023 and uh their plans for the future which should have some uh news in it regarding things that we want to hear about i have mixed feelings about how it should be received it, it it's not helpful it, it's pretty much it feels like they're just telling us what we want to hear and say, but not actually doing any of it he opens it up with a little graphic of every update they've released this year and it makes it i mean it makes them look good to be fair but a lot of it is just like patch notes and you know stuff I talked about in the last video. Like, so after that, they list their goals for uh, like the goals that they had set out for this year, and um, <laughs> it's it's something. They start out the first goal was to consistently release meaningful updates, um, which they definitely consistent they definitely consistently released updates. I don't know if you can use the word meaningful though. Um, I, I I don't know. I wouldn't call solo dungeon meaningful. It, it's a QOL fix i don't know i don't maybe i'm being nitpicky then after that their second goal is to dedicate significant effort to bug fixing um and ensuring that the most disruptive bugs are addressed promptly and i mean i can't really disagree with that i there have been very few bugs compared to how bad the game used to be um you know this year has been pretty clean with like dupe wise i say wipe wise there just hasn't been a lot of any of that so I, I guess they have been making some good changes back end, if I had to assume, which you know I obviously I can't really comment on. So maybe maybe that's why there's the, there's a, a lack of no updates, a lack of updates. I mean, um, and then the third goal is to vigilantly combat dupes and wipes more than ever before. Um, which I I mean yeah, same thing as the last one. It's like you know I the, I mean there hasn't. After that they talk about the major updates of this year, which were as I said in the last video, the garden and the rift, and that was it. And they say. Well, this wasn't a very big year for content. Um, we were focused on a lot of QOL stuff that will keep heading. They say as we keep heading towards the faded 1.0 update. So I'm trying to read and do this at the same time. This is very difficult. They say as we keep heading on towards the faded 1.0 update, we believe this year should have a bit more focus on major content releases instead of compared to 2023, where it was mostly like QOL and bug fixes and stuff. Um, which is, I mean, it, it's it sounds good. I really want to believe that. Um, we're going to get a lot of content this next year and that this year was kind of just a filler year and next year's going to be huge. But at the same time, it's not like we have a lot of trust to put in the admins right now. Who knows? Maybe, maybe you know, but they say the same thing every time. They're like, oh, we're going to, this year's going to be huge. We've done, we finally finished all our backend stuff and we can do streamlined updates so that you can come out so much faster. They never do. So, I don't know. and then they talk about version updates, um, all the stuff, all the, all the minor stuff I talked about, solo dungeons, crystal hollows, bestiary. Stuff like that. It says, these updates aren't very flashy. We believe they are vital to the future of Skyblock and the overall health of the game. With a bunch of QL things out of the way, we are quite happy with the current state of the game. I don't know. I think they're happy about the hundreds of thousands of dollars they're making from fire sales. But I don't, I mean, like, I don't know how they could be happy with the state of the game right now. When it's, like, constantly declining in players. And then, he, again, here's big news. First, we get to hear, we get to hear words that we want to hear. It says, in 2024, the focus will shift to developing the new content that everyone's yearning for. With the foraging update leading the way. That's something, you know, that's something. That means foraging soon. Oh my god, foraging soon. He says, for example, an update to the Crimson Isle is currently planned and undergoing design. It will begin development shortly. Oh, I threw. Um, that is huge. That's pretty big. Uh, I, I imagine with the way that it's phrased, it means that it'll be like made. It'll be like the way that the, the nether was revamped the first time is kind of how I see it. I mean, obviously not the exact same, like an entirely new island, but it would be like a you know, ju we're getting juice in the nether. And look at that, I dropped nothing. And then they talk about events. So the winter update, like Jerry Island, they say that they're finally done doing their annual updates with it for the most part. They say working on these events takes time, but now that they are complete, we have a lot more time to, we are, we should be able to proceed without spending as much development resources on them, which I guess is a good thing to hear. Um, you know, no, I don't think anybody's asking for these events to come out in the first place. So if they spend less time on it, it's like, that's a good thing. Put it on, put it, they need to put their development time towards, you know, things that people are actually interested in. Like, I don't understand this. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Now, after this, they talk about bingo, which in my opinion is they are just taking bingo in the completely wrong direction. 
Bingo should be something that brings players back to the game. It should be something that makes players like, oh, I haven't played Skyblock in a while, but oh, there's a bingo. Uh, this bingo looks fun, you know? Instead, it's just start on an Iron Man. It's like, they say that they're, oh, we're done with bingo. We have a secret bingo and uh, and extreme bingo. So, like, we're happy with the state of it. Nobody, wa like, I don't understand that. Like, I, I've, I, dude, I don't have spring boots. I'm level 410. I don't own spring boots on my, on my Skyblock account. Because bingo is just literally, you get to start on an Iron Man once a month, and that's it. And you get to do, like, obscure, go like, oh, go get 100,000 oak wood. Like, nobody wants to do that. Ooh, I, I enjoy bingo. Okay, but the majority of players don't. Here's, uh, here's some examples for what they could do to actually... What if there was a superpower bingo where everything is, like, you have 2x stats, you have a god pot consistently, cookie buff consistently, XP is 2x, drop rates are halved, like, mobs die easier, I don't know, slayer, slayer kills spawn twice as fast. It's, like... They, they made the game, like, fast-paced and fun, and they made the goals harder. Like, I feel like that would just, like, oh, I haven't played Skyblock in a year, but there's this new event that they're having where, you know, everything's triple the speed of progression, and you get to have superpowers, and you're starting on a new profile. Like, people will play that. People will come back for that. But instead, they're just, they can they stay with the same formula of this boring, I'm gonna start on an Iron Man for the, you know, 24th time, however many bingos we're on. And then after that, they talk about social medias. I, I really have to disagree with them. I think Hypixel could use a social media man. Like that's they need to they need to get on LinkedIn. They need to get on Indeed or whatever, and they need to find a social media manager. Whoever they have right now, at least they at least need to train their current social media manager better. Because right now they literally just upload like TikToks every now and then, and that's it. Like I I I I, I brought up Fortnite's community manager last time. Like their Twitter page right now is so community. What if we had that for Hypixel? It's like, oh, you guys aren't happy with this update? Well, we get a tweet from the community manager. That you know th this person ha probably had I guarantee you the current dev doesn't have any contact with the uh, with the developers that you know that they probably he probably the, the current manager probably has one contact they message them like hey can I tweet this They're like oh yeah I don't care I don't know I, I feel like uh, it's so important for them to have communication with the like I cannot stress this enough I don't understand why they won't communicate and, and you know obviously me this random guys saying this and I'm sure that they've heard this a million times they probably have some reason they aren't doing it. But they're just, I, they just need, we need communication. Oh my god, we need communication so bad. It doesn't make sense why we don't get it. After that, they talk about discontinued updates. Um, so this is good news that these things are discontinued. Talk about chapters, which was, I don't know, I don't even really know. I, nobody really even knew what chapters was, to be honest. They talk about, okay, but here they do confirm that ability transfusion and attribute transfusion are gone. They are done. They are discontinued. They say, oh, we'd like to, you know, we'd like to revisit it in the future. They're gone. Thank the Lord. Oh my god, those updates were awful. I don't know what they were thinking. Dude. Talk about the updates before you release them. Talk about them before, so you don't waste all this dev time. Dude, they're paying this, they're probably paying thousands of dollars for these updates because they have to pay for the developers to make them. Yeah, I, I can't imagine they're getting paid, like, not a, not, not a lot of money either. Dude, tell tell us, hey, we want to make this update where you can transfuse items. Nobody's, it's going to get so, and then they don't spend thousands of dollars on development, and, and they don't waste time, and they can spend their time on better things. Like, I don't understand. Anyways. Those updates are discontinued. They're gone forever. Thank the Lord. They do mention they train their QA members, which I assume is like Time Dio because he got hired to this year. Um, they say they train themselves <laughs> because the admins don't communicate with each other. There is no training. <laughs> Dude, getting hired at Hypixel is probably like, like you send in your application, you do the interview, and then they're like, here's admin. <laughs> it's like, have fun. You can do whatever you want. Dude, Dude, can I have, can we interview an ad? Dude, okay, here's my long shot. Here's my long shot. Any admins listening, anybody with with contacts, can I interview you, please? Please, can we please interview you? Please, it would be so healthy for the game. It would be it would be so healthy for the community. Come on, we have a neutral discussion about the about about the practices at Hypixel. I'm just we're curious, okay? Some get this out there. We want to we want to interview them. We'll come we'll come with a prepared list of questions, just like just like HS Fearless and, and Jay Varman. You know, we'll do something like that. We'll make, it'll it'll be a big thing. Listen, this is a long shot. Get that out there. Get someone, some connect me with someone. Uh, you know, I think this is very important for the community. I, I, I don't think that it could go poorly. Obviously, you know, like again, these videos are coming from a place of respect. You know, like I, dude, I, I, I have thousands of hours on this game. It's, it's probably my favorite game of all time. I, I, I'm just sad to see the direction that it's going, and I think this game has so much potential. And I'm repeating myself, broken record, but you know what I mean. So here we go. Here's the long shot. Interview with an admin. With a developer, Jay Varman. Jay Varman's communicative. I, I think um, Nitroholic is You know, just get me in touch with someone. Someone listening. Someone, someone has contacts. Now, exciting news. Kind of in May. Um, this segment is called Foraging. They say we released the final design thread where we showcase the work on the latest version in the Foraging Island. Um, while we've made a ton of progress since then, we do not have a release date yet, which is yeah, yeah, we don't. <laughs> not even ETA. Not they don't. It's not even say we don't have an we don't have an ETA. 
um it, it's just we don't have a release date yet which is not good uh so realistically 2025 forging woo I don't know. It'll probably be like it'll probably be like you know middle of the year if I, if I'm being realistic. Now here's the thing that here's the thing that I found interesting. They say, however, we are currently focusing our efforts on the first island of the foraging update, not the foraging update in general. The first island, so that implies that there will be multiple islands to this update. Um, I'm not sure how that'll be formatted. It might be similar to like deep caverns, dwarven mines, crystal hollows, like stuff like that. Um, so that'll be interesting. They're doing something unique. Um. But it's different islands. I don't know if that means like each tree gets its own island, like the original hub or the original foraging islands. I don't know. It's interesting. We're getting new. We're getting something from them. We're getting one droplet of information. Now, the other thing that is concerning is they say, well, we cannot disclose our current plans with the release of the foraging island, if only because we can't say at this stage what it will look like just yet. That is not <laughs> that is not reaffirming. I can't lie. If they don't, <laughs> they don't know what it's going to look like yet. Come on, guys. <laughs> How do you not know what it's going to look like yet? Maybe I'm misinterpreting. Maybe maybe they mean something else. I don't know. <laughs> and then they talk about bringing the game to 1.20, 1.19, and introducing modern features, which is exciting. You know, get uh, Minecraft, can, uh, Hypixel can compete with Hoplite, and I don't know. Is that, that's like the uh, MCCI. Those are the only other two Minecraft servers that actually have players. Um, they get a 1.20 running on Hypixel. I don't know. Uh, you know, it'll streamline stuff. You know, they say that every time. We're going to streamline production. Then here's the conclusion. For 2024, we plan to release more major content, including the foraging update. Gablock is a vision, and even if sometimes it feels like some updates are out of place, every release is a piece in the giant puzzle that we will one day call version 1.0. So I like that. That's cute. That's like, I, I'm excited, you know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, dude, what if 1.0 is huge? 1.0 is like the, what if Skylock peaks again? I could... Listen, here, if you guys want to, I could keep ranting forever about this game. If you guys want to hear me talk about, like, pot like I potential ideas I have, let me know. I have, I could talk about so much stuff with alchemy and enchanting and foraging and every, I could go forever about this game, dude. I'm so passionate about this game. If you want to, I, you know, this game, this video is probably already going to be like 20, 30 minutes long. I've been talking for half an hour. What is going on here? What is going on here? Hey, stay tuned for 2024. And we will wish you a and we wish you a happy holidays. So I I don't know. I'm excited. It's a forum post. It's communication. Hopefully we get more at J Varman. Please can we make can we get like a weekly dev vlog? Dude, that'd be so, that'd be sick if we got a dev vlog. Oh my god, can we please get a dev vlog? Can we get anything? Can you talk to us? Can you just say hi to us every now and then? Oh my god, please, man. Um. Anyways, here again. I'm gonna say it again. At all developers. At anybody with developers at on speed dial can we we sh i would love to have you on for a productive conversation on the youtube channel I, I i'm you know everything that i say about this game is just out of like wanting it to do well i i think that if if you could if we could have somebody on and just have like a productive discussion about what goes on behind the scenes and obviously i know you can't share a lot of things but just similar to what jay of Armin did with um with fearless but less pertaining to like future content and more pertaining to i don't know just the future of the game and how it's ran and how all that works. Um, if if anybody would be interested, talk to anybody. Anybody that has any knowledge of Hypixel, I don't care, dude. I'll talk to I'll talk to anybody. If you were if you were an ex helper in 2016, then hit me up. I'll talk to you. We can have an interview. I just want to. We we gotta get some information. That's a joke. I'm gonna sh just shooting my shot one last time. I think it would be interesting. I I obviously know it's probably not gonna happen, but um, my Discord is v1dd. Just just think think about the community. It would take take 30 minutes to an hour of your time, and you know. It could enlighten the community and make us feel better about the game that we are spending thousands of hours and hundreds of dollars on. If you're interested, also, I didn't complain about fire cells this video. That's a whole other video. Fire cell video, ideas video. Let me know if you want either of those. Um, that's it. Bye.